Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit calculate values and variables and formulas from the module Flow Builder Logic. Now, as part of this unit's challenge, we are going to create a record triggered flow, which will again be on opportunity object. Now, this time, this flow will be executed only when an opportunity record is updated. So let's quickly launch our Trailhead Playground and see what all we have on a plate to implement this as part of this challenge. So I have already launched, go to setup and open up your flows. We're going to create a new flow. It will be record triggered. Just click on this create button. Now the object, it is opportunity. Now this time it is going to trigger whenever record is updated. Now we have to specify certain condition as well. Uh, like we are going to filter our records based on certain conditions. That is if stage name equals to close one and the triggering opportunity name contains VIP, then only it should proceed ahead and implement whatever logic we are going to build in our flow builder. And for this option, when to run the flow for updated records, we are going to select this one. Now, in what these two values are and what these two options does, we will just go to one of the opportunity record and see in implementation, I'll, ex I'll try to explain in the easiest way what these two options really mean. But before that, let's assume that we have specified these two conditions and we are using these uh, criteria over here. And in this flow, we are creating a task. Okay, we have implemented some logic in our flow builder and here we are using create element and we are creating a task record. Just imagine that or suppose that right now let's see what these two options means simply. So let's go to an opportunity record. I have one opportunity where its, it's name contains VIP and stage is closed one. So now. What those two options really mean was, so suppose now we have, we already have this uh, condition fulfilled and I am updating this record. Let's say I have changed lead source from web to purchase list. All right. Now, as soon as I click on save, it is going to check for these two condition as these two conditions were satisfied, close uh, one and VIP in its name. It's going to check those criteria and since th those are fulfilled, it is going to create a task record as we have made one update on our opportunity record. So as till now we are on the same page and everything is working fine. Now let's say I have updated another field. I forgot uh, to update another field and I um, I thought, okay, now let's again update this record, opportunity record. Let's say I wanted to make this delivery and installation status set to completed. Okay, so I made a second update. Now this time as well, as soon as I click on save, the opportunity flow, which we are assuming, which create task record. As soon as I click on save, these two conditions again will be checked whether stage is closed one and name contains VIP. These two conditions are satisfied. Now, it, as soon as I click on save, it is going to create another task record, which I do not want because I have already created one task record when I updated the lead, uh, lead source to purchase list. And that's all. So suppose if I made a hundred updates to this record, Every time this these two conditions are fulfilled, it is going to create a task record each and every time. This is not the, the required business uh, process that I want. I do not want in my task record to be created again and again whenever I do an update on my opportunity record. So the option over here that we had, this one, Every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirements. So this is the option. The first option is the one which I explained you 
right now. So every time a record is updated, so we are updating, I updated twice and every time it is going to execute our flow, when uh, it is going to run our flow, every time an opportunity record is updated and meets the condition requirement. So our condition requirement was meeting. Stage was closed one and name had VIP. So this was the first option over here. Now the second option states only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement. Now, what this option means over here is, so suppose, let's say uh, again, I am updating and the second option is selected over here in our flow, this one. Now in this case, what it is going to say is, so if even if I make another change, let's say I change lead source back to web, all right, and click on save. Now this time, it is not going to execute. Why? Because only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement. So our condition requirement is these two, uh, are these two criteria, a stage name and name should be VIP. And we are not updating those, but I'm updating another field by the name lead source, okay? These two fields already had uh, those values which meet the requirement criteria, and I'm not updating that. So as soon as I click on save, it is not going to create another task for me because I have selected this second option. But if in if at all this stage is not closed one, uh, let's say it is qualification. Let me just save this first. Now let's say my stage is a qualification and opportunity name is VIP. Now this time it is going to execute this flow as soon as I select this closed one. Okay, so here it is going to see only when an when a record is updated. So I am updating the record to meet the condition requirement. I'm updating the record to meet this condition requirement. Okay, so I changed the stage, uh, stage from qualification, I changed it to closed one. So I am updating my record to meet these conditions. This time it is going to execute the create task logic as well uh, that I'm that we are assuming we have created a flow where a task will be created. Yeah. So this was the basic difference. And for our second case, in this, in this case, it is not going to create task again and again. Why? Because this time our stage is already closed one and name already has VIP and I am updating to something uh, phone inquiry, lead source to phone inquiry. I'm not updating this field that, uh, so this is the basic difference. So it is not going to, uh, so, our condition over here, only when a record is updated to meet the condition criteria is not being fulfilled. We are not updating our record to meet the condition criteria. Our condition criteria has already been met. We are updating another field, lead resource, lead source. So it is not going to create another task record for us. Only one time it will be created. Okay. So this was the basic difference of, of these two uh, options that we have. Uh, so that's all. Uh, it has to be action and related records, which is already selected. Just click on done. Now, next is we have to create a text variable by the API name VIP description. And we are going to include a default value VIP. Include a space after the period so that the two texts don't run together. So let's just go back to our flow builder and click on this top left icon of toolbox, create a new resource of type variable and API name I'm going to give out here. Data type will be text and default value will be VIP period. Give space after this period. All right, so this is the default value that we are giving. We have a uh, VIP, after that we are giving out this period sign dot. And after that we have given one space. As you can see over here that there is this space. We are going to keep that. 
Now, next is we have to create a get record element by the label get account. So I'll just copy this. Go back. Click on done. Select on this plus icon and select get records. Label I'll paste here. API name will be auto populated. I want to fetch the records of account object where ID is equal to the record account ID. So I'm going to filter out my account records based on ID is same as that of the account associated to our triggering opportunity record ID, account ID. So this is a record specify that we are taking up the triggering opportunity record and I am fetching the account ID and comparing it with the ID of the accounts, the all the accounts that are there in our org. And it is seeing if any account record is there, which has the same ID as the account ID associated to our uh, opportunity, triggering opportunity record. So it is going to fetch that, just click on done. We are not going to change anything else over here. Now, after the get record element, add an assignment element. Let's just copy this label. And variable will be VIP description add account from get account description. So let's just go back here and add this assignment element. Paste this over here. Now, this time we have VIP uh, description. Let's just paste this. This is the same uh, variable which we had created a few minutes back, right? VIP description. This value add get account description. So we are going to add this account, which we just fetched from our get element record. Uh, we have created one get element record, right? Uh, this one. So we are fetching the description from that account record. And I want to assign that to this variable VIP description. Just click on done. Now, after the assignment element, we have to add an update record element. Let's just copy this name. And it has to be update records, label this. Now we have to select the second option, update records related to the opportunity record that triggered the flow. So we are going to select this Second option where it specifies that we are going to update the related records of the opportunity, or we can say we are going to update the related records of the triggering opportunity record. All right, so let's see which object we are updating. It's account, let's just go here and select account. We, are, we have to select the account ID only. So just click outside this box. So it will just make this record.account ID. So we are going to fetch the record related record related account record to our opportunity. All right. Now, next thing that we have to do is we are not specifying any conditions. We are just updating our description to VIP description. So let's just go back here. And I want to update all of my related accounts that are present with my triggering opportunity. I want to update all those accounts description to the VIP description. So all the related records, uh, account records of our triggering opportunity will have the same description, which is VIP description value. And what value VIP description hold? We have mentioned the default value as well. It was VIP dot and then period uh, space, we have given some space. That's all just, uh, we have to save and activate our flow. Let's just go back here, label this, click on activate button. Go back to your challenge and check whether we have passed it or not. There you go. This unit is completed. Hope I was able to convey the concept that were associated with this unit's challenge and you were able to understand it. 
See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.